Hello and welcome Virgo. This is your July 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. So, are you ready? What we will do here, Virgo, we will divide the reading into sections so they're easier to understand. So we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at your emotional core. Emotional core is about, you know, whether or not there's um, trauma that can be lifted or, you know, some healing needed or whether or not there's love coming in, that kind of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of July 2023. And opportunities, for the most part, are sort of about um, what sustains you and how to make your life um sustainable and that sort of stuff right so are you ready here we go let's have a look okie dokie virgos energetically speaking you may or may not notice <laughs> but you are in a vulnerable Place. You are in a space where you would do well doing nothing. So what came to me is that German phrase, lass fünf grade sein, which means let five be even. <laughs> it just means, you know, no, um, choose your battles wisely, you know, don't get involved in other people's crap, you, you know, uh, don't be burdened by anybody. Again, it is in the, in the nature of the energy of Virgo, which is the energy of the maiden, to be in service. Um, and chooses to be there for others, if that makes sense, right? And the reason why you sometimes don't know this is because Virgo is quite a stress fest, um, uh, stress, stress, um, how, what's the word? Uh, uh, let's rephrase it. It's Virgo is a sign that, that works well under stress. There was a term for this. You know, bloody foreigner, can't help it. <laughs> So the point is, because you oftentimes choose to pay attention to other people's needs, which is not necessarily wrong, this is not the month to do it. This month is me months. So if you are Virgo, this month, prioritize yourself, rest, go into healing, go into like, yeah, let's do something, if that makes sense. Because you have the polar bear. Of all the bears, the polar bear is the most vulnerable. And all bears, you know, from a spirit animal guide's point of view, are about are about um, coming back from things that weren't working. So while you may already be on the road to, to recovery from whatever uh, emotional uh, stuff has happened to you or is happening to you, you're quite vulnerable. So that's your polar bear. And then you have the puma, which is also known as the mountain lion. And as a big cat, the puma wants a vantage point so what the guides are saying is number one because you have the puma and the mountain lion two names for the same thing um you are and you always have been flexible so understand that your flexibility has carried you well right so don't have um you know one street sorts if that makes sense right so and also it's just really weird but don't make your life a one-trick pony Right? So if you notice that certain, certain ways of, of you dealing with things are not working, then maybe it's time to pay attention to what isn't working um, and make changes here. And that's important because the Puma by default is saying to you, get a vantage point. See things from a different point of view and assess your life calmly before you make any decisions on how to change anything. Okay, so Virgos, please understand you're in a vulnerable place, energetically speaking. It is really okay for you to say to other people to give you more space. That's really all the guides are saying to you here, right? So, and now we're looking at your emotional core. To a certain extent, you know, when, when I divide the videos um, into sections, that just, so it's easier to understand. But as you can already tell, nothing really strives in isolation. So a lot of that stuff um, is related. So um, let's see at the, uh, because sort of, you know, having to rest, being vulnerable is already about your emotions. Anyway, let's look at your emotional core for the months ahead. And again, no changes here. You have bear. I don't know if you can see this. The point is you have the bear. And like I just said, the bear is about you healing. So nobody asked you to hibernate in July. 
right? What the guides are asking you is to understand somewhere deep inside you are carrying memories of events that do not serve you to carry them forward. Now is the time to let that all go, learn to release. If you need to, to, to reach out, there's tons of complimentary therapists out there that can help you, um, if that makes sense. Just reach out, Google what is in your vicinity. Um, there's loads of us out there that do a lot of work um, uh, for people and with people, if that makes sense. So it's just what comes up here, energetically speaking. Uh, it's pointless for you to sit there and kind of go like, okay, I need healing by removing myself. Remember, this is not the time to hibernate. Hiding this month, sitting it out, does not mean you release what still sits inside you. This is what is important for you. Pay attention to how are you feeling? Why am I feeling this way? So this sounds all a bit low energy-ish and a bit somber. That's not how this is supposed to come across. The guides are literally saying to you, they're not saying to you, you have no fun this month and it's all crap. They're not saying that. But it is important for you not to just go about your business, which is again Virgo energy. You are just there. You do your thing. You are a hard worker. This month, work hard on your own self and on your behalf. Really, really important. Prioritize yourself. Put yourself first. Really, really important. And remember, anything you do is a teaching. So if you teach people that it is perfectly fine at all times to burden you, then that's on you. So make sure you're not doing this this month. All right. Finally, let's look at the um, opportunities as to present themselves to you. Obviously, with a month that is all about, you know, uh, healing, there will not be as many opportunities. Um, and you have the Arctic wolf. So again, you had the polar bear earlier and now you have the Arctic wolf. By default, the depiction is an animal that lives in the Arctic, where it is very cold, has less opportunities than if it wouldn't live <laughs> in the, the depths of uh, really cold places, right? So there's less predators, uh, there's less uh, prey, all that kind of stuff. So the point is you have the Arctic wolf. When it comes to opportunities, the only thing, the only way things work for you is when you are sort of in charge of what you do. You don't need people that tell you what to do. You bloody know it without being directed. But the Arctic wolf, again, is the wolf that says, I'm not really feeling in charge here, which is exactly why, the, why there's this energy here of you wanting to hibernate. So the point is, it would not be the best of um, month to go for massive new beginnings, if that makes sense, right? So um, understand that, that when you go for a new position or when you feel like, okay, maybe we should be moving, all that kind of stuff. This month, it would be much easier if you just allowed yourself to get some strength back before you then go into planning your future. Virgos, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for, for, for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. Okie dokie. See you next month. Bye bye.